Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard tonight. We're glad to see you. It's been a little minute, but here we are, right in your lap again with the Word of God. Thank you so much. Let us recap last week's message for you because we've got more information for you. Absolutely. Hey, hey, hey. So last week we started a series on stress. We had come just right out of, unf of unforgiveness and moved right into stress. So what is stress? Stress is a natural and normal response that your body experiences when faced with various demands challenges or threats we talked about some key components of stress yes, we talked we about three the first one was stimulus stress can be triggered by stressors what is a stressor mm. any situation or events that produce stress it could be moving it could be um having a new addition to the family it could be um the uh, the loss of a job or it could be yeah. getting a new job yeah all of those things are considered stressors a situation or events that produce stress. Were you able to find out what your stressors were? Yeah, that's that a good was an assignment from last week. Right. For them to find out what their stressors were. Did you find out what starts your stress level? Yeah. How does it affect you? What affects you? Yeah. How often does it affect you? Amen. Let's Amen. get to it. The second key component of stress that we talked about was response. Uh -huh. And we talked about that the brain perceives a stressor that causes the body to activate okay. to a fight or flight response. And the third key component of stress that we talked about was physical symptoms. Uh. Stress can manifest in various different ways in our bodies through being irritable, through headaches, um, heart problems, muscle, mm. muscle tension, shallow breathing, Sweating and even digestive problems. My, my, my. So there you have it. A host of things that we went over last week. Yes. And if you have any questions about what stress is and what she just went over, go back to last week. Click on it. Give it a shout. Give it your attention for a while. I guarantee God will give you some information. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. But today, we're about to get into the new information of the day. We're talking about the new killer. The new assassin. Yes. It's called stress. Stress. Stress is the devil's plan. Mm. You got it. It's the devil's execution to take you out. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I want to share it with you all, or should I say we want to share it with yes. you all, one of the biblical insights on stress. Mm -hmm. And that is Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. And mm -hmm. it reads in this manner, Therefore do not be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient mm -hmm. for the day is its own trouble. trouble. Amen. And so we're going to share some more key components of stress. Mm -hmm. And this evening we're starting with emotional and cognitive effects. Ah, okay. Emotional and cognitive effects. Effects of stress, of stress. Ah, See, please. stress can also affect your emotions and mm. cognitive functioning. It may lead to feelings of anxiety, anger, sadness, or being overwhelmed. Additionally, stress can impair the concentration mm. of our memory and decision-making abilities. So we must learn to monitor the stress. Yes, yes. You yes. know, a lot of times we talk about um, the, the negative side of stress, the anxiety, the 
depression and all these other things that are related to stress. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can have a good form of stress also when you're excited mm -hmm. about something, when you're um, happy about something. Yeah. So we don't want to confuse them. But I just want, I don't want you to think that all stress is negative. But if it's not monitored properly, it could turn into negativity right absolutely absolutely so another key component of stress is the long-term impact mm. now short-term short-term stress can be helpful in certain situations by enhancing the alertness and our focus ah. chronic or long-term stress can have detrimental effects on our physical and mental health prolonged exposures to stress Hormones can contribute to a range of health issues, and we talked about that last week, yes. including cardiovascular disease, immune suppression, mm -hmm. um, excuse me, immune system suppression, and mental health disorders, as we said, anxiety and depression. And depression, you know, Pastor, I can really attest to, to what you just uh, talked about, the, okay. the long-term impact. Yeah. That stress can have on you. I know that I am challenged with one of those long term scenarios of lupus and what mm -hmm. happens with stress. And when I incur a stressful uh, situation, it could affect me in a way. If I guess in my mental mind, I let yeah. it affect me in that way. But I wanted to say it does go according to all these other mm -hmm. challenges. And so, what we're pointing out to you guys is amazing to me because we're not just telling you the spiritual con connectivity to stress we're giving you the physical that's right and the emotional yeah. triggers of stress or results of stress things that take your body yeah, into a place yeah. that you don't want it to be things that place your mind with causing you to have anxiety and depression amen and that's so these good. answers are so Beautiful because they're not mm -hmm. only spiritual, they're clinical. Yeah. Amen. 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 All Amen. right, Pastor, let's get back Amen. to it. It's important for us to also note that stress is normal, and I've already said that. And there's an adaptive ad adaptive, excuse me, response that can motivate you to take action and mm. deal with the challenges. Yes. However, chronic or Excessive stress can be harmful. Mm -hmm. So we have to not just monitor our stress level right. or the things that are producing stress for us, but we also have to learn to manage stress mm -hmm. through healthy coping strategies such as relaxation techniques, exercise. And mm -hmm. I know, I know, I hope y'all not like Pastor Shelley. I don't really enjoy exercising. This is, my dis this is my disclaimer, but I like the results of what exercises does for the body yes. and for my mental capacity. Mm -hmm. um, also, mindfulness of seeking support from friends, from family, or professionals is crucial for overall well-being. Not only that, it's so important that we stay connected to the Word of God, mm -hmm. that we stay connected um, in our community of those who are believers in the mm -hmm. body of, of, of Jesus Christ. Um, you might have a hobby that releases stress. Some people, a uh, great stress reliever for them, I know for my dad is, he loves to be in the yard. He loves to garden. And mm. what's amazing is my mother, she also enjoys uh. gardening. For somebody else, it may be cooking. But for another person, cooking could be very stressful for mm -hmm. them. Thinking mm -hmm. about what meal am I going to prepare and um, what's the preparation of that? What does it take? What's the time that, that I need to allot for buying it, prepping it? preparing it yes. and then serving it yes. amen and amen. remember whatever we're serving we want to serve in love right amen amen i i you know i personally mm -hmm. um a stress reliever for me a tension reliever for me is to be creative oh okay to Go create ahead. and, he and can't to create. build things to, to to build functional things and to create things to create material for you to grow by. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's one way that I relieve the stresses that, that the enemy tries to put on me. Okay. Amen. And so one of the things for me um, that is a great stress reliever is to worship music. Yes, like, he does. I don't care where I am. Like, it just, it just puts me in a whole different place no matter what's going on. 
Um, another great stress reliever for me is I, I like to um, I like to listen to the word. I enjoy reading. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. so these are great stress relievers for me. Amen. 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 But I want to say to the one who deals with anxiety and who deals with stress at a higher degree mm -hmm. where it could be or where it is or has been for you mentally don't feel ashamed mm. about getting the help that you need it's right. okay to seek help a lot of times we used to be very hush hush hey it's okay to have a therapist yes if that's what you need it's okay to have a psychiatrist if that's what you need mm -hmm. it's okay to set up an appointment or a counseling session with um your pastors if that's what, that's you, what need. you need it's okay to be connected um, in a community of believers mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to say that is what you need because yes. all of us need that right because we amen. have to be careful not to forsaken ourselves with the assembly with others yes, amen yes. hallelujah the bible says in a multitude of counsel yeah yeah the right counsel yeah there is safety, safety yeah we've received counsel oh, from on, our pastor. situations whether it be medical whether it be psychological or spiritual counseling, yes. or mental facilitating mental capacity com counseling, we ourselves have undergone different strategies of overcoming stress. And so we know the value of these things yeah, that we're saying yeah, to you. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hold tight. Yes, as stress becomes overwhelming and persistent, it is advisable, mm -hmm. as we've been saying, to seek help from healthcare professionals, providers, or a mental health expert. Amen. Yes. Amen. Stress is a universal experience. It doesn't just um, attach itself to one gender or one nationality mm -hmm. or one particular race. It is universal. Stress is a universal experience. Amen. 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 But as followers. Hallelujah. As believers of Jesus Christ, Let's get we it. have a source. You and I have a source of strength and guidance to help us navigate through the storms of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Stress is a common human experience. Mm -hmm. The pressures of life, challenges, and uncertainties can weigh us down. down. Amen. We have to we have to be careful how we are handling stress, mm -hmm. and we need to identify what causes us stress uh -huh. and how to deal with it yes. amen. amen a lot yes. of times our stress pastor kofi and inspired life ministries family and those um who we've yet to meet but who are listening right now it, it's the mindset also yes sometimes we create stories about situations or events or about people or, e or even about ourselves and they're not true mm. and so we all have history stories right within us but let's not create stories that are not true mm. amen let's mm. let's deal in truth and so last week pastor kofi and i both we shared a personal story about some things that that produce stress for us mm -hmm. it's important that we share the personal stories or even statistics to highlight the prevalence of what stress is in today's world. You may have a personal sh story that you want to share. You can live chat mm -hmm. it in. Amen. Because you might find from you. in Inspired Life Ministries in this community, you may find and learn that what you're dealing with, that someone else has dealt with that same thing. And they can share with you how they overcame it. As a right? matter of fact, I can almost, I'm almost willing to put a strong force of guarantee behind that. Mm -hmm that maybe what you're facing, someone in our community has faced ED, yeah. faced it, past tense, yeah. and overcome it. Yes, yes. And perhaps the answer that you seek is inside of yeah. our community. Yes. Amen? And all you have to do is not go through the payment process mm. of receiving the answer to your answer that you need, but just show up. Yeah. Show up in the community Come on the broadcast, live chat with us, yeah. research in our chat groups and things like that, and get your answer. Amen? Yeah, amen. Amen. As we build a strong community for ILM. Amen, amen. 
Here's another scripture that I want to share with us, and that is Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. And it reads, cast your burden on the Lord, mm. and he will sustain, sustain. you. Yes. Another um, translation may read is, cast all of your cares on him, for he cares for you. Mm -hmm. So right here in this particular verse, the psalmist encourages us to cast our anxieties upon God. Why? Knowing that he cares for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're listening to this message, watching this message, and you realize throughout it, you've been governing yourself by stress. You've been allowing stress to drive in your driver's seat of your life. It's caused your health to go bad, your relationships to crash, and your finances to be miserable. Well, this is the day that that ends. Amen? Amen. Through a decision and a prayer. Have you decided to allow stress to do what? Sit in the back seat instead of the driver's seat? Have you allowed that thought to pass your mind? Second, have you decided that you can't drive anymore by yourself, but that you need the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to sit in that driver's seat behind it, the Holy Spirit, and drive your life? If you've decided that, say this prayer with me. Say, Lord, Lord I'm coming to you. I am coming to you. To replace me. To replace me. In my driver's seat. In my driver's seat. I've not made the best decisions. I've not made the best decisions. For my life. For my life. And although I thought I was. And although I thought I was. I didn't do well at it. I did not do well at it. I realize now. I realize now. I've allowed fear. I've allowed fear. And stress. And stress. To drive to me. To drive me. Drive me to be to my death. Drive me to my death. And I don't want to die. And I don't want to die. So, Lord, give me the strength Thank you, Lord. to produce results in my life that are absent of fear and stress. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And give me the strength, me the strength. To, occupy my life to occupy my life with the Word of God, with the, word of God. The, will of God the will of God for my life. For my life. Help me take on all assignments. Help me take on that you give me, that you give me without being scared. Without being scared. In Jesus' name. In Jesus I accept name. you as my Lord. I accept you as my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 I gotta say this, y'all. Don't let the gifts that God put inside of you die. Mm. Get up and do something. Get moving. We tell you this because we love, love you. you. But more importantly, you know it. God, God loves you. Peace. We'll see you soon. Blessings.